What up folks, it's Alex here, and this is number one in a new series of videos called Five Minute Fridays. Every Friday, I'm gonna release a new five minute video which teaches you how to do something new and interesting within DaVinci Resolve. Now, this week, bing, is gonna be this. Buffalo Soldier. That's how to do some basic face swapping using the stabilizer in DaVinci Resolve. In the heart of America. It's just a bit of fun for number one to get things going. Now, I'm Peter Griffin. <laughs> now this is actually surprisingly easy to do. And once you know how to do this, you can start doing the same thing with text and other things. So, let's have a look, shall we? So here we are in DaVinci Resolve and I've imported a clip in the same way that I usually would. Now when I also added the media to my project I added two PNGs. We've got Randy Marsh and we've got Peter Griffin. Now all we want to do is I'm going to grab Randy and I'm going to put him on video track number two. Now I want this right at the far side, so I want it as far left as you can go to be at the start of the clip. I don't want to leave a gap here because then the timing will be off. You can cut this later if you only want it to appear halfway through, but for the time being you want it to be the same length as the clip that you're using. So I'm just going to drag this to about here, and then I'm going to grab my Peter Griffin and grab, put Peter Griffin there as well. Now at this point, you can just adjust the sizes. So I'm just going to use my transform icon here and I'm going to adjust the size of his head there. And then the same with Peter. Actually, I'm going to flip Peter as well. There you go. Happy with that. So we've got them roughly the right size and roughly the right places where we'd want them. Now, at this point, what we need to do is turn these PNGs into a compound clip. So I'm just going to highlight them both on the timeline. I'm going to right click and I'm going to create a new compound clip. You can give it a name if you want to and then click create. Now because we actually need to do some work on the, the main video clip, I'm just going to turn off video 2. So I'm going to click this icon here just to hide it to get out of the way. I'm just going to skim back to the beginning of my clip and then I'm going to click on the color tab. Now this is the screen you'd usually use to do your curves and to mess with your gain and your offset and all that sort of thing. Now what we actually want is this icon here which is the window. So give this icon a click and you'll be taken to this screen. Now what we need to do is highlight the area which we want DaVinci to track. So in this case I'm going to use a circle, I'm just going to click this here and it will drop something onto your preview. Now you can adjust the size as you usually would just by dragging so I'm going to make this roughly over my face. It doesn't need to be too accurate but get it generally right and you can rotate it if needs be. Once you're happy you then need to click on this icon here which takes you to the tracker. Now you should see this page, it should say window. If this says anything like stabilizer or FX just click the drop down and make sure you're on the window. Now again make sure you're at the beginning of the clip so you just need to drag this to make sure you're as far left as you can be and then click the play icon which tracks forward. And what you'll notice in the preview, as it plays through, everything within that circle, within the oval which we placed on the screen, will be tracked, and that's what it's doing now. Now, that tracking information will be displayed on this graph here. There we go. That's done. That's done a pretty good job, and we've got the information on the graph. Now, if you click on the ellipse here, and then just click on the copy track data, so we're copying this graph which is a visual representation of the movement within the clip. Now we need to get our compound clip back. So I'm just going to go back to edit. I'm going to clip on, click on my video number two and I'm just going to bring that back in. Head back to color and you'll be back on this screen and you've now got the original clip and your compound clip on this timeline. Now make sure at this point you click and highlight the compound clip. Now the next step is to click on this window drop down and go to the stabilizer. Once here you need to click on your ellipse again, you need to make sure you're on the classic stabilizer. So give that a click. Now the next thing you need to do is to go down here and make sure that you type in strong, this needs to be minus 100, and untick the zoom because we don't want it to do any zoom 
and we want this to be minus 100. The strong essentially is how much the stabilizer will compensate for the movement. We don't actually want it to compensate for the movement, we want it to track it, so we set this to minus 100. And then again into your ellipse and just click on the paste track data. And what it will do is it will paste that graph from the original video into the compound clip. Now if I hit play, you notice it's not actually done anything. So I'm gonna just scrim back and start here. What you need to do is just click on stabilize. And what it will do is it will apply that information to the compound clip. So now if I hit play, the PNG will track all the movements of my face. And because the compound clip actually has two PNGs in it, at some point, hopefully soon, it should change to Peter Griffin. There he is. And that's it. You can then go back to your edit and continue editing your video as normal. And it's as easy as that. And there you go, the first five minute Friday. Now, hopefully you liked this video. If you did, thumbs up, pop a comment below if you've got any feedback or anything you wanna to say to me. And make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on next week's 5 Minute Friday.